I know exactly what you're thinking. How could I have gone behind your back and done this much work to the car without filming, without showing you guys everything that I've done so far? But here's the truth. All of the work that you see here has been done in a span of two months. I've been coming here every um, weekend, I think, since there was quite a lot of things to wait on, I had to, to uh, source a lot of parts. Most of them are used, so uh, searching for the right price, searching for the right part, it was a nightmare and it took quite a, a literally last two months. So yeah, every time I would come here, I would do like little bits and pieces so this is why the car looks uh, the way it does right now and I'm going to show you everything that I've done now. But yeah, my initial idea was to make episode 6 about the engine, then I realized that I didn't have the tools, I didn't have all the parts. When I got the parts I realized I need to separate the gearbox from the engine in order to uh, repair or replace the upper oil sump, that is why it is on the hold and I wanted to get the body of the car out to the body shop as soon as possible so we clear up some space and you know get at least one part of the project done because this is basically the biggest issue I'm having with the, with the whole rebuild. I know I am going to be able to repair everything on the engine. I have all of the parts now so basically the biggest question that was left was um, are we going to be able to find anybody who is going who is willing to put enough work to put this chassis back in its right position so we hopefully found somebody and if everything's right the body should be picked up in one or two weeks I don't know how long it's going to take uh, for the body shop to repair everything and paint everything but in the meantime I will be tackling the engine and the whole disassembly and everything and I wanted to make like a really nice video about it. Also I've um, created a couple of small videos where I've cleaned the driver's side of the chassis as well as some issues that I had um, transporting the parts all the way. So now that you've seen all of that, um, let me take you around the car real quickly and show you everything that we've done behind the camera. Let's go. So yeah, of course, first and foremost, I have finally removed the broken windshield and it was really a painful process since I don't have the tools for the job so I had to improvise, cut through the adhesive. Didn't know there were two uh, beads of adhesive on this side. Oh there's even some pieces of glass left in here so I still need to be careful about that but at least that is off and probably I will have to do the installment of the new one once the body comes back from the body shop or they will do it themselves I am not sure but on to the next thing removed basically everything that, that there was to be removed from the car uh, all of the heat shields, panels, everything, all of the cables are off to one side even though I know they will have to um, put them differently anyways but at least everything is free 
for this part of the chassis to be removed, replaced, re-painted, re re-spray painted, that's a new word. I have also removed the differential, no not the differential, sorry, the drive shaft that goes all the way to the back. I have installed the old uh, subframe in order to construct a contraption that is now hopefully going to hold the whole, whole body on these casters. Yeah, I think the cast, caster is the word or... Yeah, so on this small wheel so we can move the body around the body shop, of course. All right, I think that's everything. Uh, in the front, let me take you to the back. As you can see as well, over here some work has been done. I have removed a spoiler that was to make the video about how to seal a spoiler with the silicone. Also removed the both tail lights and the rear bumper. Reason being is since now the whole body is on the casters, if you uh, try to go over the ramps or to load the car on the truck, this thing was way um, hovering on the back. So I wanted to make it as short as possible for uh, to basically minimize the chance of anything being damaged in the process of uh, unloading and loading the car on the truck. I have also obviously remove the differential, this time I've got it right. I have realized that both of the rear shocks are completely shocked. <laughs> so they are completely... This one's still okay, this one's completely dead. So they don't come up, they don't do anything. This has given me a nice opportunity to do whatever needs to be done on the, the rear differential, meaning oil change, pump, cleaning, because there is a small like filter that goes inside. And yeah, I'm also going to check out on everything that is uh, rusty, make sure to paint that so it's nice and brand new, as it looks brand new. And yeah, also created a contraption on the rear wheels. I don't know just how much you can see let me show you. I know, I know it looks sketchy, it probably is sketchy, but it should hold the body, the weight of the body, since there is absolutely nothing else in the car except for the fuel tank. So I was thinking, yeah, I'll just make this thing out of wood, pieces of wood and casters. So um, later today I am going to try to get the body off of the stands and onto those wheels and hopefully they hold. It is really an understatement to say that the parts necessary to repair all of this are expensive because it took well over I think 3000 euros to get the parts and most of them of course are used parts. So. I'm going to start a quick rundown of everything that we bought. This thing is the crash, crash bar that obviously didn't do its job right the first time. So yeah, that is one thing. Then we have parts of the chassis of course. This is, I think, I think, yeah. This thing is in wheel arch. Then we have a... Uh, this thing goes like this. This is this part over here. A ton of parts. Obviously, firewall. Because this part, I suspect, is a bit damaged. Inside of an A-pillar. I wasn't sure if I'm going to need this part, but you know, looking at it, most probably, I don't know. I just wanted to make sure I have everything. I have everything uh, we need to repair the car. 
so the body shop doesn't have to wait on the parts and stuff. Well, this one's interesting. This is a A pillar. And this is the part where the chassis number is stamped onto. This, however, is made out of aluminium, which is probably obvious, taking the ribs and everything. And this is the part that has taken most of the damage. And it sits, I think, somewhere over here. Yeah, I think so. So uh, how and where they are going to be able to change this, no idea. This is a outer piece of the chassis leg. This one over here. Then we have a wing. This is a left wing. We can actually, we can actually put this thing on the car. Yeah, we are going to install this on the car for a easier transport, or maybe not. I don't know. Now we have a new, brand new, uh, slightly used, ouch, hood. This thing, as you saw earlier in the video, was really a pain in the back to transport uh, over here because it is really huge and okay now let me put it back on the side and if you wondered yes there are a couple of boxes of small bits and pieces screws um, this piece over here on the other side, yeah, there is this piece new, a plenty more parts still unpacked. But this is roughly it. So my idea now is to get the car on the ground, see if it's rollable, put all of the pieces in the car and some of the pieces on the car just so it's easier for the transport. And then um, I need to give a green light for the body shop to come pick this thing up. Okay, so this is the moment I have been waiting for, hopefully some of you as well. <sighs> Whew, I have finally made place uh, at the back, removed the subframe and everything out of the way. So my idea now is to try to lower the front end first, put something or block those wheels so they don't turn and then slowly remove everything from the back. Hopefully it's going to work out just um, as I imagined it. However, I am open to all possibilities, being if it doesn't work. And then we need to adjust accordingly.
Okay. A long process, but I think the wheels are now Exactly. <laughs> All of the wheels are now on the ground. It seems as if my plan worked really well, except this whole garage is downhill. So if I don't do anything, I'll probably find my car. Oh, this is super easy. Yes. Yes! Whoo! Okay, it seems to be working. It just wants to go downwards. Um, but it seems as if we got the thing on the ground. This is the first time that I've seen the car in this shape or condition and this is the first time I've realized it starts to look like an Audi TT so this is the first time I've seen it with a normal hood and I can imagine how the whole thing is going to look like when it's done it does sit really low at the moment you see almost on the ground so it kind of looks strange but at the same time this is the first time I've put something on the car that is kind of um, there to make it look better again and yeah it's a great moment for me and it gives me hope that this thing is going to be back on the road soon yeah, we should be able to put it back on the road because we have almost all of the parts now um, sourced out in here. We need to paint, clean a lot of parts because I want to make them uh, the whole car look like brand new and even better. As well as there are a couple of things we need to change. I've shown you the rear shocks, probably the front ones are as bad. So I ordered a set of new ones, a Bilstein B4, I think, which is an OE replacement. So there, it's like <clears throat> swap out part. You don't need to put anything in, how you call it, to last or, or whatever. And yeah, so I am of course going to film all of that, but hopefully, hopefully the next episode should be Disassembling the engine, uh, disassembling the gearbox from the engine, putting everything down, uh, cleaning up the gearbox and starting on repairing the engine itself, timing chain, plenty of parts, plenty of parts. But until then, I need to sort out all of the parts that are going to the body shop. So I think I'm going to call it for this episode that you have waited so long for. I'm really sorry about that. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe so you see the next episode, which is going to be really exciting. And I hope you stay with me until the end of this rebuild, because I know this car is going to be something really special once it's done. So yeah. Please do subscribe and share with your friends who might also like these kind of videos. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!